Regi 18. So what we're trying to do with King of the Hill is replicate the arcade experience. This Mortal Kombat is a return, sort of a rebirth of MK1, 2, and 3. So we want people to feel like they're in an arcade. King of the Hill is like the ultimate party mode in Mortal Kombat. In case like you don't have friends around, you can go online, play with other people, smack talk the guys that are playing if you're just spectating. And then if you get up a big win streak, you can just smack talk all the other guys and say how bad they are at the game. The team here is not okay doing anything that isn't cutting edge. We want to sort of push the boundary of what the customer sees as a mandatory minimum feature in a fighting game. In the spectator mode, you not only can watch other people fight, but you also have a little avatar in the room. So the cool thing about this is we're rendering a beautiful 60 frames per second fighting game that's silky smooth, cutting edge graphics. We're also rendering eight little avatars that the players control at the exact same time. So we have the game running as well as this theater room with other characters, and it's a pretty amazing piece of tech. And both with the 360 avatars or our PS3 MK avatars, it lets it be a more interactive experience where the players can see what's going on in the screen, interact with their gestures of booing, holding up a diamond, the cheese, or uh, throwing a tomato at the screen. Let them really interact with the fight and give their opinion on the fight, as well at the end with the respect points, given them like, you spam the same move the whole fight, you're probably not gonna get as many respect points. The Xbox 360 will actually allow you to take your uh, 360 Live avatar online. During the fight, you can perform actions such as cheer, or laugh, or disgust. There's definitely some hidden things, uh, just like the rest of Mortal Kombat, that will take some time for people to figure out. Once they're out there, I think people will be really excited. So the thing I'm really excited for at launch is jumping into a King of the Hill room with a bunch of the actual players and seeing sort of how they behave in that room because in addition to the basic moves that you can make the avatars do, like boo and cheer, I'm gonna say that there's a few surprises that are hidden away in there and I'm really looking forward to seeing if the MK players can figure out what they are and see the avatars do some pretty special things.